Today we've got the ultimate Callaway iron comparison of 2022, going all the way from the Callaway Apex MB at the weakest of lofts to the Rogue ST Max OS at the strongest of lofts. We've got Thomas here to test them all out, and we'll see what Trackman tells us. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing, and it's all about Callaway irons today, Thomas. We've got 10 models here uh, from Callaway that are in line and could be uh, you know, fit for in our fitting bays right now. And with that said, there's 10 models, but they're all very different from each other, uh, especially if you would compare, say, you know, the player's irons here to you know, your Rogue ST irons new in 2022. So you play Callaway irons, Thomas. Um, what, do you, what are we gonna see here? We're gonna see a lot of golf <laughs> shots, but I don't know if we've had 10 iron heads in one test before, but this, this will be something here. Right, I think this is the first time we're going to crack double figures, so yeah. this will be fun. This will be a lot of golf shots, like you said. Uh, I think we're going to see some differences, you know, major differences here in ball speed, in spin rate, in launch angle, mm -hmm. and the height that the golf ball is, is flying. And let's face it, having 10 different irons allows us to categorize irons into different areas. Yeah. And it helps us with the customers when they come into the store to really help them dial in their, goal, their iron game. Yeah, I know. I remember I was doing some initial testing on you know, Rogue ST Max and Max OS, and they launch out there and they can travel a long ways. But I know for your sake, that's not what you're looking for out of an iron. You're looking for control and consistency. So that's where maybe the Apex TCB, the Apex MB, Apex Pro will come into play. So there's, I mean, we're gonna see a lot of differences here. And then we've kind of, we've got all the lofts down and we'll talk about the lofts, but there's kind of a, you know, there's four irons we would say are players' irons, probably. Right. There's four we'd probably put in that players' distance category based on the loft, and then there's two that are for sure game improvement type irons. So, just on that alone, we'll see some big differences in performance. Yeah, they're definitely separated. You're talking about Apex MB, you're talking about Apex TCB, Apex Pro, and X Forge CB. 33 or 34 degrees of loft on those seven irons. Yeah. So, those for sure are your players' irons mm -hmm. that players looking to work the golf ball. They like that forged feel, right. and they just expect everything out of the, out of the club. Yep. Then you got those uh, that category of distance players irons, and it's kind of shocking to see that Callaway has four kind of in that category. Yep. You know, around about 30, 31 degrees of loft on them. You got the Rogue ST Pro. I haven't hit that yet, so I'm excited to see how that compares to these other ones in that category. Apex, Apex DCB, and the Epic Max Star iron. Yeah. So I, there's a few irons here I have not hit. And I also have not had the chance to test the Rogue ST Max irons out there. And they're both the Rogue ST Max and OS. There's actually a light version as well. Yeah. We're not going to do 11 irons, but the light <laughs> version is just a bit lighter for slower swing speed golfers there too. But it's going to be a lot of golf shots. There's yeah. going to be some separation for sure. Oh, There's yeah. There's going to be some separation between them. My goal as I'm testing these is to try and keep my club speed as close as possible for, for all the clubs. That way can where you can dive, dive deep and take a look at the numbers. Yeah, I mean, I know you do a really good job of keeping that consistent uh, and put, giving us a really good swing to base everything off of. But 10 irons, are you warmed up, Thomas? Warmed up enough. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, so first we'll go with the Rogue ST Pro, Thomas. Not one I don't, you said you- I have not hit it yet. Hit any of the Rogue yeah. irons, uh, Rogue ST irons, that is. Uh, what I liked about that iron is that it kind of has a little bit of a, it's like a blade, but just a tad chunkier. And then there is that, there's a very good kind of um, discrepancy, right, between the grooves and then that kind of shiny chrome look. Yeah, no, it looks kind of like the Apex Pro looking down at it with just a little bit more to it. Okay. Yeah. That was loud. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> This one, that was a little low on the face, but. Low on the face? It's forgiving. Yeah. All right. Yep. Rogue ST Pro. Thomas, first, uh, give me your thoughts on how that thing felt. I know I noticed a very loud noise at impact. I approve. Yeah. It's okay. uh, very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's explosive. It's loud. Yeah go straight and yeah. it felt forgiving. So mm -hmm. it, it kind of had everything that I wanted out of the player's distance iron. 
Right, and you, yeah. you mentioned that I think it was the fourth shot you said you yep. hit really bad, and look where it's. I mean, it's right. very much in the pack with the rest of them. So and a lot I of forgiveness. Pull, but there. otherwise, right. Yeah, you it pulled was one, but otherwise these four are right next to each other, right down the middle. That's that's the player's distance combination distance, but also the forgiveness and uh, being able to control a little bit too uh, was exactly what you're looking for. Consistency there too. I mean, distance wise and the consistency very similar on all of them. So. Yeah, spin consistency under 100 RPMs with a player's distance iron. We're on to something here. Right, right, all right. Rogue ST Pro, and for the sake of the video, for those watching, we're gonna try to you know, hit the five shots with each club, then discuss briefly with, between each one so we're not talking about an hour long video here. So uh, with that said, next club we'll go, we'll go with the Apex Pro. That's a similar sound actually. Yeah. A Little bit more spin. I think this is louder. Yeah, it might be. Well, we're two clubs in, Thomas, and I thought the Apex Pro and the Rogue ST Pro sounded very similarly at impact. Yeah, the, the Apex Pro, it is quite loud for a player's iron, it, um, explosive, but it's explosive in a different way compared to the Rogue ST Pro. Yeah. That was kind of explosive in total distance, while the Apex Pro was explosive more in, in height and a little bit more spin. Yeah, yeah, you got a little bit more height, you got a little bit more spin. You see five, well, four, 450-ish, 420-ish RPM. Yep. Uh, and then you see the height also went up a little bit, Apex Pro there too. So uh, I just know, I mean, that, that, that sound, I don't know what the feel was like, that sound, it was surprisingly similar for, you know, two different categories of iron, really. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, f a firmer sound that, that I'm used to out of a mm -hmm. club that's got 33 degrees of loft on it. Now, right. I play this in my four iron. So I have this in a little combo set. And in a four iron, it feels good, explosive. I know I can stop the ball on the green with it really well. Right. I can okay. get over the sound with four iron, but I don't I mean, know if I get over the sound with a nine iron. If you have enough of the performance and it does what you want, you can probably get over that sound a little bit. But yep. uh, all right, next club, we'll do the Apex, just the standard Apex. Okay. Ooh, that, I think right away that's the first time I think I've seen over 130 ball speed. Yeah, and that spin was low too. So the Apex now. Um, further so far, which I think we expected, but it, I mean, if I remember right, yeah, it's the same loft as Rogue ST Pro. So we've got two at 30 and a half degrees here. You can see every shot you hit with Apex went further than every shot you hit with the Rogue ST Pro. Yeah, the ball speed the was consistently mm -hmm. above 130 miles an hour. Right. The club speed's the same as the Rogue ST Pro, but I picked up 0.8 mile an hour ball speed and had a little less spin on it. So I was going to go mm -hmm. just a little bit further. Yeah, that is interesting that, yeah. you know, this is the same loft on each of these two. The club speed is pretty similar, right? But it's just that extra ball speed generated by the Apex generated a little bit more distance. And you can see on the screen here in terms of the carry dispersion that it was, everything was further. So yeah. interesting there. I think it's interesting, you look, the exact same attack angle too with mm -hmm. those two irons, with the, the Rogue ST Pro and yep. the Apex. 2.2 .2 down. So good comparison right, right there. Rogue ST Pro might go just a little bit, little bit shorter. Yeah. Um, perform really well, but I feel like I hit the Apex, the first four shots especially, I hit the Apex really well. Last one I tugged a little bit. Yeah. But I was really, I was really impressed with the feel. I'm not gonna lie, it almost felt a little bit better than the, the Apex Pro. It it's, just felt, it sounded just a little I, bit softer. I actually thought it sounded softer yeah. in sound anyway. And then looking down at it, I was expecting to see a larger club head after hitting the Apex Pro. It really looks good to look down at too. Okay, yeah. interesting. So. Well, you gotta, give me, uh, you gotta be giving me a larger club hit at some point. I was just gonna though. say, yeah, we're gonna go to the Rogue ST Max here, uh, right. which is gonna be the strongest lofted of the test at 27 and a half degrees. So that'll be a little bit different, I think, than what we've seen so far. Okay, I think I'm gonna start seeing some ball speed. It's a little that, heavy. That was loud. So Rogue ST Max, this is your first impression of this uh, club. What do you think? 
<laughs> what so, any any thoughts? Feel, sound, distance. I mean, there's a lot of thoughts to be had, I guess. It's a rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. It uh, so I first I gotta say, you said under your breath before I hit these shots. You you were gonna guess. You're like, I bet this goes 208. Yeah. Now my average distance with that was 208, and we didn't change my club speed. Actually, I was swinging just a touch faster because this mm -hmm. this head's just a little bit lighter, and I tried to slow it down a little yeah. bit. But I thought that was impressive that you knew I was going to hit it 208 yards yeah. and my average distance was 208 with regards to carry distance, yeah. which is no, I, impressive. It's, I've, I've seen yeah. the, the numbers you generate and in my testing too, um, you know, because I uh, did the swing report testing for Rogue Irons and I was had the low spin too myself. So I, yeah. I figured you'd have some big numbers and that's, that was a big number. So, but it is interesting that you the consistency of the carry numbers was that good. Because look, yeah. I mean, on the map, they're all right there. Right, so. we didn't get really the flyer going way long left or anything like that. I think 210 was the furthest carry. I think yeah. 207 was the lowest carry <laughs> right. on, on average. So, so there is that consistency in there, despite being a stronger loft. I mean, look at that spin though. That is so low for spin. Yeah, and you, you ask kind of what, what it looks like, what it feels like. Is it rocket launcher? It's definitely larger. It's got quite the sizable top line on it. It's got yeah. quite the sizable sole. It looks very similar to an old Maverick iron. Yeah. Honestly, looking down at it, it's loud. Mm -hmm. um, it's explosive. It's going to give golfers distance if they're looking for distance. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's pretty loud. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's the case. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to now the the Epic Max Star head here. Okay. We'll see how that one compares. That is dead straight. I hit that a little low on the face too. Okay. I'm leaving a, a look at those club path, path numbers. Club path for 0.0, face angle 0 0.1. All right, so the Epic Max Star, that's a very different club head, I think. I mean, just by looking at it, it's got that, that black finish to it. Very different than the rest of them. What did you think about that look, sound, and feel? Yeah, it, it couldn't be any more different than the iron before that I hit. Uh, the Rogue ST yeah. Max. Yes, it's a larger game improvement iron. But when I sit this club down, it just it just looks like it's so much narrower from the bottom to the top of the club. Yeah. There's not as much space. Now there's more you know, there's more surface area from heel to toe. But looking down at it, it looks like it sits pretty flat. Now Is these are all standard lie. But just the way it sits, it just looks like Is it's... It, it, could it be just that, that finish, the black finish, maybe distorts things a little bit, or...? I don't know. I need, to, <laughs> I need to do a little bit more. Let's just put the Rogue ST up against it there. Yeah, this is definitely a smaller head than the Rogue ST. The Pro? The Pro, yep. Yeah. Interesting. Just a little bit... It's not as tall from the bottom of the club to the, to the top of the club. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well... Numbers wise, Epic Max Star uh, is very comparable to the Apex. Uh, spin is very, it's just a little bit lower spin, which yep. generated a little bit more distance, but it's very co comparable. I mean, look at the ball speed's basically the same, right? I mean, spin a little bit lower, which generated a little bit more carry distance for you compared to the Apex, but overall, pretty similar clubs. Yeah. It, it felt really good off the face. Is this forged? It doesn't say forged on it, but. Tungsten. It's, it's had a soft f sound it's to it. Very soft, yeah. Yeah, I was I was impressed with it. You yeah. know, I could. I would almost play something like a three or four iron with this in my, mm -hmm. in my bag. If you like that look too, yeah. it. Yeah. And also, I should note the launch angle is quite a bit lower too than That's really crazy. any yeah. of the other irons. I mean, look at ST Max it was seventeen three. That was fifteen yeah. nine. So. Yeah, that's it's got to have something to do with the way the CG is placed on this yep. on this iron because yeah, it just it looks so much different looking down at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's uh, as far as I know, you're still gaming the Apex TCB, correct? Right. Yep. So let's go to that one now. Okay. That's a lot more spin. Yes. Yeah. There we go. One eighty. That's your number, though. Close. Apex TCB, Thomas. This is your gamer. So give me your thoughts on it. I know, you know you're very comfortable with how that looks and feels, but you said right away you, you looked at it and it almost looked like uh, a pitching wedge because of the loft and how small that club head is compared to the others that you've hit. 
Yeah, it took a little bit of adjusting because we've hit a couple of larger game improvement items yeah. here the last couple. Um, it took a couple of swings to get used to it. There was a couple of shots in there that I got a little bit heavy, but I got to point out that spin consistency. And there's a mm -hmm. reason why I play this iron is that spin consistency. And I don't think we're going to, we would have going to be yeah. that, even though I had a couple in there that didn't quite catch. Right. I mean, yeah. the, <laughs> the deviation number of 40. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Uh, and even still, you had a smash of 133, you had a smash of 136, a couple that you didn't quite catch the way you normally catch it. Yep. And it still stayed right there. So that's, that's kind of the advantage of having a player's type iron, uh, you know, is if you do miss hit it a little bit, you're going to get that consistent performance. So you see that out of the TCB. Yeah. And then, I mean, to this point, it's the shortest club because it's the weakest lofted so far. Uh, you know, 176.5 average carry. I know your number is 178 to 180. A couple of miss hits in there, dropped it down. But most of those, I mean, if you look at it, actually, your, you know, your carry distance was in that range for a lot of them, right? 178, yeah. 179, 179. So the three that I hit well were right right in, on, on yep. the number there. There's a couple I got a little bit heavy. But I mean, that does showcase the level of forgiveness. You mm -hmm. lose it a little bit when you, you know, all of a sudden go with a club that's more of a cavity back or more of a blade. Yeah. Um, so you've got to be a good bull striker if you're looking at TCB or even the Apex MB iron. Yeah, well, speaking of the Apex MB, let's go directly to that now. So we'll hit two, the two highest, or well, uh, yeah, highest lofted clubs in a row here. And we'll see how those compare. Okay. Some speed there. I hit that one well. Wow. A little bit less spin on that. That's interesting. That There's well just too. no sound at impact of that thing. Yeah. Nothing. This is quite impressive, actually. The Apex MB uh, has to be the smallest looking club head of the test. How much smaller are we talking compared to the TCB even? It's still noticeable. Yeah. It, it's, it still for sure is. This looks like a knife looking down at. Yeah. A very small knife compared to the Apex TCB. It's could be like a butter yeah. knife compared to a steak knife or something like that. Right. <laughs> I think you, you, you summed up pretty well. It's like the uh, Apex TCB went on a diet. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> and, it, and it slimmed down quite a bit. And then you can see, I was actually impressed with how far the Apex MB went. That's the uh, one thing that really surprised me. We know yeah. we, we always talk about loft. And the last two clubs, the loft is the exact same. 34. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but I mean, I wasn't swinging as fast for one. Right. But I was getting a little bit more ball speed. and. I was shocked to see that it was spinning less, you know, about four, mm -hmm. 400 RPMs less than the TCB, but getting a little bit more ball speed overall. Yeah, it's just, it, it was, you were maybe hitting it so much more efficient, because look at that smash factor difference. Right. That generated well, lower spin, but I just, I mean, seven yards difference in carry. It was, it's kind of crazy to see that, even though you were swinging a mile an hour slower. Well, let's face it, I have to hit it well. <laughs> yeah, when you look at it like that, yeah. Because if, if I don't hit it well, it's, it's not going to work yeah, out very well. That's the, the pro and con of yeah. a blade iron like that. And yeah. a few, only a few people on the planet, such as yourself, can actually hit that thing. Yeah. And you also have that dispersion pattern up. It is the largest dispersion pattern up there, too. That's one thing to yeah, that's keep true. in mind on. It's yeah. the biggest oval, I think, I see up there. Yep. They all are pretty similar size, but you can see there's a little bit more you know, give there, uh, a little bit larger uh, surface area. So next club, let's go down to the X forged CB. So we'll kind of go basically three players irons in a row here. We'll go with that one. Yep, there's a low spin. There's a little less spin, yeah. Smoke that speed one. Speed on that one. Wow. Found the middle of the face on that shot. Yeah, like that's it seemed like you did. <laughs> So X forged CB. I know we've done prior testing and noticed noticed that that spin stays down quite a bit with this club, and we saw it again here, uh, averaging under 5,000 spin despite having 33 degrees of loft. That's pretty significant, I think. It is, and then if you're going to maybe compare this to the Apex Pro, which also has 33 degrees of loft on it, mm -hmm. a lot of people might you know compare those two irons there. I'm going to willing to bet the Apex Pro had a little bit more spin on it. Yep, 5302 yep. on that the Apex Pro Apex and 5000 with the F4. So that's 300 RPM difference, basically. Yep. Apex Pro was also flying higher, yep. 122 feet in the air, and that was 114 feet in the air. So it's getting there a different way. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is another club, the last two that are kind of outperforming 
they're lofts essentially. In like terms they're, of distance, they're yeah, going further sure. than yeah. I would expect. Oh yeah, because yeah. you can see, so this yellow circle here is Apex Pro, yep. right? Which actually is one of the smallest patterns up there. But then you can see where the x CB is right here. Same loft, but clearly a little bit further up there on the screen. And it's actually, it's funny that the Apex MB is very similar to the Apex Pro in terms of distance up there. Right. Despite that degree or that loft difference, so. Well, you can do combo sets with those irons, so you maybe you don't have to do too much loft bending between There you them. go. Yeah. That's true. Uh, all right, Apex DCB here. So it's kind of a player's distance slash game improvement iron there, 30 degrees loft. There's one. Apex DCB, Thomas. Thoughts on look and feel and sound of that one? Look and feel is a little bit larger than the last couple that I've hit. We are grad go, we're kind of going back up towards a little bit more forgiving yeah. irons. But the biggest thing I noticed here is the height that I was hitting this club. It just seemed like it was flying a lot higher than the last couple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we look at actual order these front in terms of height, there you go. The highest flying club so far is the Apex DCB, which is interesting, because that's at, it's funny how you look at an order of height there, and you see all kinds of different lofts. I mean, you got 30, then you go up to 33, back down to 30 and a half, then 34. I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting how that works out. But Apex DCB, definitely flying highest, but they have a pretty kind of a large dispersion for you there as well. Yeah, yeah, it was, now, could be getting a little tired at this, at this point there too, so left and right might be a little bit more yeah. user area. But even still seeing one way left and seeing that height still being yeah, high, it was still flying. I think that's the biggest takeaway. And DCB, you know, stands for deep cavity back. It's designed to get the ball up in the air, yeah. and it definitely does the job. Well, uh, if since we are getting tired and uh, maybe we need some more help, I guess, huh? is, that, is that what you're saying? We right. did save the Rogue ST Max OS for last. That so. was a wise choice. <laughs> Got a little lower on the face, hence the spin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so Thomas, Rogue ST Max OS, uh, actually one degree weaker than the Max. Yep. Um, I think we're saying that. I think it went about three or four yards less in carry distance than mm -hmm. the Max. Yep, we, I'm looking at the map here and you can kind of see Rogue ST Max as predicted, farthest up the screen, and then the, uh, the ST Max OS is just kind of right behind it there um, in terms of the distance. And you can kind of see too, we've got uh, on the numbers, we've got, oh, I'm going to uh, sort this by distance here. We can kind of compare then Rogue ST Max and Max OS. There's that four and a half yards of carry distance, about six yards total. Spin, you know, we got kind of a big difference there actually for one degree aloft, but overall they're pretty similar clubs. It's just that extra bit of, you know, or I guess less loft in the max uh, is gonna generate more distance. Right, yeah, I think we uh, break down these numbers a little bit more, mm -hmm. see if there's any trends that we're seeing, and see how they will compare. All right, so Thomas, you've tested, that's 10 iron heads. It's 50 shots, that's yep. a lot of swinging. Um, we got all the data up there. What are you looking at the most when you kind of break these down here? Yeah, I think that's kind of look at ball speed, launch angle, spin, carry distance, height, and landing angle. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're important numbers we look at it at a fitting and kind of talk about what type of iron a player would, would fit into, yep. what we're seeing in these, in these general trends. And I think we're gonna be pretty close to the bracket that we kind of, at the start of the video, we kind of broke the irons into with regards to forgiveness versus playability yep. versus uh, kind of be right in the middle there too. But let's look at ball speed first. Um, so you'll notice the two clubs that had the least amount of loft on them, Apex TCB, Apex MB, we're noticing ball speed around 125 to 127. Yep. When I hit a couple with the Apex TCB, I missed hit a couple, that's why yep. it's a little bit, little bit behind there. Um, but definitely kind of noticed that. Um, Apex Pro ball speed here was also once again, 33 degrees aloft yep. is, is closer. X-Forge CB stood out to me. Yep. That was, that's the one thing, the one that I would expect maybe the, the, sp the ball speed to be around about 128 instead of 130. Yeah. So it's overachieving and forgives the ball speed is what right. I would say. Because the other part too is that Rogue ST Pro has two and a half uh, degrees right. fewer 
uh, of loft. And so it's actually, you know, the X4CB had more ball speed. And the club speed, it's not like the club speed was crazy faster either. Right, it so. might have been just underachieving a little bit on, on the ball speed. But yeah, you're talking about the club speed. We're talking, my range of club speed between them all is, I think, 90.3 90 <laughs> to 91.4. So within yeah. 1.1 mile an hour with, with all of them there too. So mm -hmm. this you know, it's a good comparison. The ones that I well, did swing a little bit faster were the lighter club heads, trying yeah. to slow it down, but right, 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 right. at the end, uh, I couldn't slow it any, any, any much more with those right. two larger club heads. Okay, so yeah, ball speed, you're seeing at the lower end. Uh, I'm not saying you know you need the distance with an iron, you want the dip ball to go the same distance every single time, so we'll talk about the plus or minus number too. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the other end of the spectrum, you got the Rogue ST Max OS, Rogue ST Max, you know, actually the exact same ball speed, which mm -hmm. I think is quite interesting. Um, but you can definitely see that you know, 27 and a half, 28 and a half degrees of loft is going to give you more, more ball right. speed there. Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move over here to uh, launch angle. I think this one's going to be you know, interesting, and this is, should throw, follow the trend for the most part on the amount of loft that's on a, on a, on a club. But there's a couple that, that stand out. Apex MB, launch angle 17.9 is actually two degrees lower than Apex TCB. Right. It has the same amount of loft on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Apex Pro, fairly high at 19.1. Um, for 33 degrees of loft there as well. And Apex DCB, 18.8. We and talk about how high that one was flying, even though yeah. it's got 30 degrees of loft on it. Where's that uh, X-Forge CB? Because that's another one we noted that yeah, has a lower, it was lower spin. I mean, that's way up near the top. Right, it's 17.4. So it's quite low for a club mm -hmm. that's got 33 degrees of loft on it. Uh, Epic Max Star, that was, that was the surprising one. Mm -hmm. The way that club is, is shaped, I. It was definitely different looking down at it. As I mentioned, a lot of surface area from heel to toe, but right. not as tall as the other irons. Yeah, there's a lot of, you know, the tungsten weight in there too. I think it's not, it's not uh, as low and deep in the sole. It's a little bit more kind of behind the face, which could be maybe launching that ball a little bit yep. lower than the other ones. Okay, so spin. This is, this is where you're going to see the biggest separation. So we have a range from 37.83 all the way up to 58.11. That's over so 2,000. 2,000 RPMs of mm -hmm. spin. Um, we're talking about, what do we got? About seven degrees of loft difference between, yep. seven and a half degrees of loft between all the irons here. And that's what you would expect with yep. regards to the way the club's designed with, with loft. Um, Rogue ST Max, Rogue ST Max OS. Not surprised that those two yep. had the least amount of spin. They also went the furthest. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we go at the other end of the spectrum here. Um, Apex TCB had the most amount of spin. Wow. And comfortably. The and most comfortably. Spin. Yeah. And also the plus or minus number, plus or minus 40. That's got to be the best one, right? Uh, it is. It is. Plus or minus 81 with the Epic Max Star. Yeah. So. And That's then, also 87 and 89 with X4 CB, Rogue ST Pro, but. Yeah. Yeah, it was the most consistent mm -hmm. and also the highest spinning club. It's also, yeah, maybe a reason that that's the fit in your bag right now. Right. You know? if, you've <laughs> seen a, if you've seen a few videos that I'm in, you'll notice I struggle with spin with my irons. Yeah. And there's a reason why I play that club is because I need spin. Yeah. I need a little, a little help I can get um, right. to stop the ball on the, on the green. Not mm -hmm. like I don't have a chance with the height that I hit it. But sometimes when I spin the ball at 5,000 with a 7 iron, it's just going too far. Yeah. I want my 7 iron to go 180. I don't want it to go 190, 195. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to go that distance, I could play these other irons. Right, you could play the X4CB you know. or whatever yeah. it would be. So speaking of carry distance, you can see here, 177. I had a couple that I didn't quite catch overall. Yeah. Uh, Apex MB outperformed the loft. I was, right. I was surprised yeah. how far that one went. Um, Apex X-Forge CB outperformed yeah. the Rogue ST Pro, and we're talking two and a half degrees of loft between those two. Uh, and then you got the, uh, your two game improvement irons that yeah, lead the way you know, there. Lead the no way. surprise. Rogue ST Max has the least amount of loft on it, 208.8 yar yards for the carry mm -hmm. distance. Was, that's, that's far. Yeah. That's, yes. that's, that's some distance there. But how was the height with that club? 
as always, the, the scary point is if you do hit the ball high enough, is it right. a total distance is great. Right, and you hit the yeah. ball high enough, but then that's this is where this is important for maybe players that don't swing as fast as you do. Right. Getting the ball high enough in the air with your irons to land it on the green and keep it there. So looking at the <laughs> Epic Max Star, we got 106 uh, feet in the air. That one was you know flying the, the mm -hmm. lowest. It also had, had that low much launch spin. angle too, yeah. Low launch angle, low height. So it's a low penetrating club. Um, Apex MB was, you know, also pretty pretty low, 113. X4 CB 114. Uh, we go up the other end of the spectrum, Apex DCB. We've got to talk about that one. Yeah. It's uh, it's a it's a high yep. club. Easy yep. launch it seems like with that one for sure. Right. A lot of weight low on this kind of this is that's the difference where there's a little bit it's all lower, like below where you make impact here. Yep. Um, that's actually the Apex and the DCB same thing. You got that weight lower behind, whereas with this this Epic Max Star, it seems like it's behind impact a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it doesn't so have as, as much of it's that. It's not deep as cavity. drop low. It right. seems like center of gravity is lower with the DCB, and it definitely shows up there. Yeah, yeah, and so you know, we come to this the screen, and this is when I'm in a club fitting. I'm always asking someone, you know, which circle do you like best up yeah. there? Now, this is based on you know the five shots that I hit with with each club, so it's not always going to be the case. It's going to be player dependent on how well you hit a particular club. But we'll notice there's definitely a couple that, that stand out. I'm looking at this orange circle right here. Yeah, that's Epic Max mm -hmm. Star. Was, it, was, it was pretty good. Smack right, at, right in the middle. Um, we've got Apex Pro, also pretty good. Apex TCB, also pretty good. There's a couple I got a little bit heavy. Yeah. That's just showing the forgiveness level there. Um, Apex DCB, you know, I was hitting it high. I could also be a little tired at that point, but it was a larger dispersion yeah. overall. But then you look at this Rogue ST Max. There's forgiveness in that club. It's forgiveness in that it's club. It's surprising consistency for a right. game improvement iron going that far. Yeah, so you're looking left to right. There's not one that's way long left or one short right. Left to right is very, very consistent. Mm -hmm. So not only was it going the furthest, but it was consistently going the furthest yep. and also pretty consistent there too. So when you're in a club fitting, there's always stuff to look, at, look out for. You're looking for that smaller circle. You don't want to see a circle that's going very heavily from north to south. Yeah. East to west is user error, but you don't want to have that pull that's going to go really, really long, right, really, really far left. Yeah. That kind of so, flyer on you almost. That kind of flyer on you. A little bit. It yeah. seems like not really many of these clubs really did that. Uh, there was it was pretty consistent across the board. I think the only thing I'd, I'll take away from this is that the X4 CB plays like a 31 degree iron, and then the Rogue ST Pro almost the same thing, kind of also plays. Like it has a little bit more loft than right. it does. So those two, I think, are kind of uh, maybe not playing to their lofts in both in different ways. But I think everything else in terms of the loft, they it pretty much matches up. And then it really it just depends on what the golfer needs yep. and what type of characteristics in the club that would best fit their game. Right. No, so speaking on what the golfer needs here to finish up, who are these irons for? Right. So right. This is probably the this is what everyone wants to know. Who are these? Who are these clubs really for? Well, I think we can talk about the, the Rogue ST, Max, yeah. Max OS. These are for the golfers that are looking for forgiveness. Yeah. Uh, yeah probably maybe. don't generate a whole bunch of speed, but looking, looking for something that's going to fly yeah. nice and straight for them. Don't hit the center of the face every time. Yep. Need some of that stability in the club head for sure. Yep. And that's why we've kind of separated those two apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got Rogue ST Pro, Apex, Epic Max Star, and Apex DCB. They're kind of in the middle, yep. um, so it's going to become come down to personal preference on look and feel with, with yep. those irons. They're all forged; they all feel very good off the, off the face. Uh, but it's really going to come down to um, whether you know. There's, there's subtle differences between them, but the yep. lofts are very very similar. Yeah. Um, so it's going to yeah, whatever is working really well for the golfer when they're yep, in the it. fitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you got the 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 other four, the other four of the players' irons and. You got X Forge CB. That's a sneaky good club. If you're looking, if you like the looks of a player's iron, but you want you, a little bit more yeah. distance and, and you a generate a lot of spin, spin. yeah, yeah. If you generate a lot of spin already. You need some less or kind of a, a drop in spin. Yeah. The X Forge CB is a great one. I think the opposite is almost true for X Apex Pro too. Right. If you are the player that doesn't get enough spin, but you want kind of that player shape, and we talked about the sound a little bit, but if you need more spin, I think that's a club that can help you too. Yeah, and yeah, they definitely are two different golf clubs. Apex Pro flies higher, X Forge CB flies a little bit lower, mm -hmm. and then finally you got your players' irons. Yeah, Lo lovely, love these clubs. You know, I played the Apex MB, the previous model in my bag, in a combo yeah. set before before playing the Apex TCBs. Uh, I play them for spin and consistency. Yep. So you know, if you're a better player, you're gonna want to play 
a, better, a, a player's iron yep. that's going to give you consistency and workability that we all want in the golf game. Yep, that's why the, uh, you know, the fitters here at Minnetonka call that the uh, Thomas Campbell blade. It's in your <laughs> bag and it fits your game. So uh, the, that's a very comprehensive look at all the Callaway irons, Thomas. A lot of testing, a lot of good shots hit by you today. But ultimately, I mean, we can, we can you know, fit golfers into which iron depending on their characteristics. But ultimately, it's about coming in and getting fit at second swing or uh, scheduling an online fitting, a virtual fitting with our online fitting and support team and uh, doing a fitting through the computer from the comfort of your home if that's better for you. So, um, Thomas, thank you for joining today, hitting all the shots, giving your feedback and insight. Again, Callaway is always awesome when it comes to irons. They have all these offerings. Uh, golfers should try and take advantage of them here in 2022. Yeah, they make it so easy as for a club footer having so many different options that's going to fit any player's game.